UFC sold, UFC sells itself for $4 billion bye bye Michael J. San Francisco, Ultimate Fighting Championship seemed for years to be a curio, a niche sport for those interested in seeing combatants pummel one another in an octagonal gauge. But UFC has become a global sports empire, and now commands an eye-popping price tag. The league, which promotes mixed martial arts, is expected to announce as soon as Monday that it has sold itself to a group led by the talent giant WMEIMG for about $4 billion, according to people with direct knowledge of the matter. Backing the deal are the private equity heavyweights Silver Lake, Kohlberg Kravis Roberts, and the investment firm of the billionaire Michael Estelle. The deal highlights the power and reach of the 23-year-old UFC whose fights are now shown in more than 156 countries and take place in all 50 states, and which claims millennials as some 45% of its audience. For its new owners, the league represents a prime source of content, particularly in the digital arena. Beyond its headline fights, which the company asserts are the best-selling events on pay-per-view TV. UFC overall generates roughly 2,000 hours worth of material each year, much of it available on its Fight Pass streaming service. The transaction comes just as UFC concluded its latest series of fights, perhaps the biggest in the organization's history. The event, UFC 200, drew more than 18,000 fans to Las Vegas but was marred by some controversy, including the absence of stars like Ronda Rousey. Conor McGregor and John Jones, the last of whom was removed after testing positive for an undisclosed substance. It will be a windfall for UFC's primary owners, the longtime casino entrepreneurs Frank and Lorenzo Fertitta, though they will stay on as minority investors. The brothers bought UFC in 2000 for just $2 million at a low point for the league after the promoter spent years and millions of dollars battling to win approval from state athletic commissions. Continue reading the main story, advertisement continue reading the main story, before the arrival of the Fertitas, UFC had begun climbing in popularity, thanks to early stars like Royce Gracie and Ken Shamrock and a reputation for being just shy of civilized. But opposition loomed from Senator John McCain of Arizona, who derided the sport as human cockfighting, and former Governor George E. Pataki of New York, who banned the sport from the state. The early years under the brothers, who run the business through a company called Zafa, the Italian word for fight, were still tough, with million-dollar losses weighing over the enterprise. But the first hitters took the brand to a new level, with more advertising more effective social media marketing and better distribution through partnerships like the one with Fox. Licensing money for video games, clothes and more began to roll in. UFC's revenue was about $600 million last year. Respectability came along with rules meant to curb the excesses of early fights and getting approval from each state's athletic commission. The last came this year, when New York lifted its ban on the sport and cross-promotional television programming like The Ultimate Fighter reality show elevated UFC's presence in pop culture, turning athletes like Chuck Liddell and Randy Couture into mainstream stars. Combatants began appearing on ESPN and in the pages of Sports Illustrated. Successive generations of fighters, particularly Miss Rousey, became even bigger celebrities. UFC has demonstrated enormous digital reach as well particularly after the introduction of UFC Fight Pass streaming service in late 2013. Under the fur titters, UFC also swallowed up many of its competitors while pushing aggressively abroad, establishing beachheads in Europe, Asia and Australia. As part of that international campaign, Zafa sold a minority stake in the promoter to an arm of the Abu Dhabi government six years ago. Not all has been rosy for UFC. However, the league has faced accusations that it underpays many of its athletes. And it remains dogged by concerns about the brutality of some of its fights. Along the way, the fur titters, burly fighting enthusiasts who are bound to settle business disputes with a jiu-jitsu match, have already earned themselves a fortune and amassed high-priced art collections.
Rumors about a sale of UFC in a multi-billion dollar deal have percolated since the spring. In May, the company flatly denied being up for sale. Its president, Dana White, said, we're not for sale, though he conceded, but let me tell you what. If somebody shows up with four billion dollars, we can talk. As recently as last week, Lorenzo Fertitto and Mr. White denied that they had sold the business. We own the UFC we did not sell the UFC, Mr. White told the Los Angeles Times on Tuesday. That's true, the two sides signed the deal agreement over the weekend. Such is the popularity of the company that it drew interest from a number of suitors, including big Chinese media players that reportedly included the Dalian Wanda Group, which owns the AMC theater chain, and China Media Capital which owns stakes in pro sports teams like the Manchester City Soccer Club. But it was WMEIMG, which already represents stars like Miss Rousey in media rights and has represented UFC itself, that emerged victorious. For the Hollywood Colossus, which is led by Ari Manuel and Patrick Whitesell, acquiring UFC is the latest step in creating a huge stable meant to command digital media. The agency has gained financial firepower for such deals, taking investments this year from the Japanese telecommunications giant SoftBank and the mutual fund Titan Fidelity. WMEIMG has already taken steps into the sports world, buying the professional bull riders league last year. Still, UFC is a much bigger step in the agency's goal to become a platform for content, to which it can apply a host of levers from marketing to talent management to television and digital distribution. Though WMEIMG represents Miss Rousey and other combatants in their endorsements and movie deals, the agency will not get involved in the actual pay negotiations with athletes, according to the people with direct knowledge of the matter. Backing the agency are Silver Lake which led the merger of WME and IMG nearly three years ago and which has long pushed portfolio companies to become bigger through acquisitions, and KKR, which has often worked with Silver Lake on major investments like the takeovers of GoDaddy and the chip maker of Ago. Both firms will own minority stakes in UFC. Mr. Dell has been allied with Silver Lake since the investment firm helped him take his computer empire private in 2013 and then aided him in buying the data storage company EMC last year in what was the biggest ever takeover in technology. Mr. Dell's firm, MSD Capital, will own preferred shares in the sports league, which will essentially pay out interest, 